When we approach the Wrangler, uh, because it's such an icon, the main design differences between the previous model and this one won't be apparent really even from a distance. It still cuts the same silhouette and it always should. It's a, it's a large box with a nose on it. The doghouse, the front end, which is always pinched with the, the, the round headlights. Uh, that is so, so key to be in a Jeep. The design inspiration, honestly, was the CJ5. CJ5, CJ7 series. It's always been my favorite. I know that we started with the flat fender, the little military Jeep, but the CJ was really when the vehicle finally got designed, it got styled, and it, and it picked up a long-lasting view of it. What we did with the grill, honestly, was to get it much more historically connected. The hood goes out much more level than before, and the grill is, is much more stood up. It's not laid back anymore. It's stood up, there's a subtle kink in it, and then all the, the grill bars or the grill slots are quite a bit larger than before. Lights are larger on it, but again, that the headlight invades into those outer grill slots, which I think is, is key on the CJ. Top goals to accomplish, cast a wider net. So we know that we have different customers than we even had five, 10 years ago, uh, but to satisfy those customers. So we tried to incorporate a lot of customer feedback into the vehicle, but keep what's really special about it. Doors still come off, roof still comes off. You can literally at the stoplight, a couple latches and flip the top back, get out of the vehicle, no more zippers, the zippers are gone, the side panels come off really easy, and you can drop the top in a matter of seconds now. We've improved the lighting, so that, that is better. A lot of small details on the vehicle. We increased the rear visibility a huge amount by moving the tire down a little bit and opening up the back window as much as we could. But that's the magic of Wranglers, that every one of them is a convertible and I can open the roof up. So standard, I get a black hard top or a black soft top. Uh, I can upgrade to a body color hardtop with removable panels. Now that the vehicle has an integrated sport bar that's connected all the way through the A-pillar, uh, we were able now to make the windshield easily deployable or fold it down. It's just a whole different feeling you can't get from any other vehicle. We stuck true to the playbook. We did not, uh, we didn't waver, but instead of changing the recipe, we just made it better. Our goals when designing the Wrangler were to create uh, an all new interior design that builds on Jeep's legendary heritage. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it was all new with um, the latest comfort and conveniences, you know, infotainment, uh, and storage options. We started the design looking towards the past um, so that we were influenced by the vehicles that came before. So the overall horizontality of the instrument panel, that's from the original CJs. The, um, the top pad brow and the, all the trapezoidal elements, that's more from the YJs. The Wrangler Loyalist is going to look at the interior and say, oh, okay, I get it. But for the new customers, I mean, you're going to have all the new technology. Um, then the rest of the language is very technical and precise and futuristic, and the color and materials um, follow suit as well. The price class walk is really based on the diversity of our customer, how different they are. Sahara is a much more premium environment. Uh, the mid-bolsters, again, are painted, but they're painted with a high-gloss grill silver. Um, the metal accents on the steering wheel, on the vent trim rings and the shifters, it's all real metal plating, so it's cold to the touch. Um, when you option up to leather seats on Sahara, uh, the interior transforms yet again, and those mid-bolsters that are painted are replaced with a premium luxury vinyl wrapping with decorative accent stitching and light tungsten. Rubicon is somewhere in between. It's authentic like the sport, um, but it's a lot more fun. Here you have the optional radical red anodized mid bolsters. That's a, just a fun pop of, of color. Uh, all price classes you can get with uh, our you know, traditional black or heritage tan cloth interior as well. I like to think about the storage on the interior um, like a tackle box. You know, the vehicle isn't any bigger. Um, it's really set up for off-roading. So it was our goal to compartmentalize the storage in a way that was useful to the consumer. 
So whether you're on the trail or on the highway, passenger comfort is very important. Um, so we made a lot of upgrades uh, ergonomically and in terms of some of the conveniences. Uh, ergonomically, we've, um, we've raised the entire center console up higher in vehicle so that the shifters and your cup holders are closer to the occupants. Uh, and taking the grab handle on the instrument panel and lowered that as well so it's closer to smaller occupants. Uh, we've also taken the armrests on the doors and extended them all the way forward so that you can now finally lay your arm out straight. There isn't a, a millimeter on this interior that's, that's carryover from the old one. It's all designed for this customer. Um, and I hope they care about it the same way that we do. Well, Wrangler for many years is what we describe as the icon of our brand. It's where Jeep started back in 1941. It's not only important because it's where we started, but this vehicle really is what our customers recognize as what Jeep stands for around the world. And because of those things, it's not just important to us, it's also important to our thousands and millions of fans, regardless of which continent they live on. You know, when we were designing and developing, engineering the next generation Wrangler, there were a few things that we knew. Number one, we had to be absolutely authentic to what Wrangler stands for, and that's its capability, its versatility, its really that, that whole sense of being able to do more tomorrow than you've done today, and we knew that. And our fans had told us that we had to stay true to that. But what we also had to make sure was that we had a Wrangler that really represented the next generation, that could take us into the future, that could really continue to be that massive icon for the brand. So not only did we make sure that the capability was improved, we made dramatic improvements in terms of its ride, its handling, its MVH, its fuel economy. We touched every part of it, but in the back of our minds was authenticity, the DNA that Wrangler stands for and really enhancing that and I'm very very pleased and delighted with what our engineers, our designers and our, the guys in our plants have been able to come up with. I couldn't have been happier with the next generation Wrangler. <laughs>